welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. All right, so let's talk about, let's see, life in general, but we're going to talk about transitions into what you desire. Because we watch these movies and we're told these fantasy stories and fairy tales and all this stuff, we still cling as human beings, surprisingly cling to some fairy tale story about how things are supposed to work. Now, I'm not here to give you some gloom and doom because there isn't any. There's only experiences and how we view things. Everything is your opinion on how a situation uh, affects you, what you believe about it, how you feel about it. Everything is in your control there. You know, even, even some things that could be very traumatic in your life. You get to choose if those are beneficial, valuable um, situations or if there's some horrible thing that's happening to you. So I'll give you an example. Growing my hair out, I have super thick hair. It may not look like it, but I do. I actually have to um, flat iron it to get it like this because otherwise it would look like bozo because it's um, very humid here. Um, as I'm growing my hair out, if I want my hair to grow long to a certain point, I have to put up with the in-between stages. Or I could go back and keep cutting it to make it look good as it's growing out, but that would take longer. I have to be willing at some point to just allow myself to be in that transition stage that isn't highly desirable and maybe it doesn't look as good as I I liked it with a certain length short, and it's not looking as good as it will when it gets longer. We're so afraid to be in that in-between point where it's not as comfortable, it's not exactly the way we want it, but we don't want to go back to the place where we were in our lives. We don't want to go back to the short hair. We're done with the short hair. The short hair is great, all right? But if you want to go to the long hair, you have to let it go. You can't keep running back to it, and you know you can't run back to it because that's not what you want at this point. You want the long hair. So what do you do? You have to go through whatever it is you need to do to get to that point, that final point where you have long hair. And then you may cut it again, or you may grow it longer, whatever. We are constantly evolving, but people are so afraid of that in-between journey stage, they want to go straight from this to this. I guess you could go buy a wig, but that's not going to be your hair. You can fake it for a while, but eventually it's not going to work out. There's going to be a big old wind, it's going to blow your wig off, and you will be embarrassed. Do you get my drift? My point here is that there's no faking that journey. There's no faking. You have to go through transitions to get where you want. And sometimes they're not pleasant or they're not where you want to be, but so many of us are just so impatient that we don't see the value in it. We don't think that there's anything between that point and this point at all. And all we want to do is get it over with. Your entire life is the in-between stage. Your entire life is this. And you're going to find points when it'll start to look really good and it's going to feel right. And then you're transitioning moving forward. It's not so great again. Right? You go through stages. And yes, you can do your best along the way. You know, obviously I'm going to do my best to make this look as good as I can while I'm growing it out to the longer length. That's all I can do. And be okay with it. You know, everybody, by the way, I'm fine with my hair, so don't make any comments about that. <laughs> I'm using this as an example. Um, all I'm trying to tell you is that you're about the journey. You aren't about getting to that point because when you get there, you'll get bored with that and want something else or it'll be great, but you're like, wow, it was really exciting. The contrast of not having everything all the time is what makes life so beautiful. Can you be okay with the journey? When you really sink down and really go into it, sit with it, how am I feeling? Maybe you're between jobs or relationships or whatever. Am I okay by myself? Let's do the relationship thing. 
So many people are just not okay by themselves. That's an opportunity for you to be completely at ease with you. Just you. And that's the, the universe allowing you to do that. And then when you do it and you are really okay and self-sufficient and happy, then guess what? That right person's going to come to you. Not the one that wants a secure, insecure person or not the one that, you know, uh, is in a good match because you're not in a good place. You're going to get a, a secure, wonderful, loving person because that's who you've become. So if you don't use that time as an opportunity to become completely self-sufficient, don't be looking for somebody to pay your bills. Uh, again, that's, you know, putting the wig on. And that's not going to last for very long because it's not real. These are all opportunities. And yes, yeah, some of them are like, oh, it'd be so easy to get married and have somebody pay all my bills. I hear, yeah, I know a lot of people do that. It's never, never works out well. And I'm, the trade-off is so, for me, personally, the trade-off is like, you've got to be kidding. How wonderful it is to be able to feel self-sufficient and work toward that. And yes, it's going to be work. Everything, you know, if you want a fit body, you have to put in the work. If you want to be healthy, you have to eat properly. Spend a little bit more money on organic food and don't buy the junk. There are just so many things that we have to go through to get what we want. Be okay with that. You never get out of it. Accept it. Welcome it. Embrace it. And it will transform in a way that you never imagined. All of a sudden, it's going to be a gift to you. It's going to be something wonderful. You're going to go, wow, this is actually pretty cool. I'm really discovering things. And you might transition into something beautiful and feel really secure. I'm going through something myself right now, having to make a decision about something I, I want to do in my life. I've, it's always been a dream of mine. Believe it or not, there's still things I haven't done. That's true of everybody. And um, this is a time in my life I thought, there are some really cool things, and I, I'll announce them when I when I actually finalize my plans, but they're very uncomfortable. It's easy to stay in a comfort zone. So if I take this step and I go off and do that, my life will transform in unbelievable ways. But I'm really sitting with this saying, you know, between now and when that happens, I'm going to have to do a lot of things that are pain in the rear, you know, and, and, and organize my life a certain way or whatever. But I'm really looking at that as, part of that journey that I know I'm going to look back on it and go, wow, wow, you had to do some work. You had to, to you know, take care of things and, and get ready for that. And that was a little scary, a little exciting. You may have to learn things. You may have to do things to, to get a new job. You may have to get yourself in shape if you want a person who's healthy. You have to do these things for yourself. Get yourself really ready and be okay with that. Be okay with this journey. Sit with it and just say, wow, okay, what am I feeling right now? What am I feeling? And just sit with that and say, I'm transitioning. This is powerful. I'm going to be, be my best. What can I learn? What can I do? What can I take charge of? you got to take the action. Be okay with the journey and find the value in it. Find the value. So many of you, no, I'm feeling this way, Landria. I, don't, I need this. I want this. And somebody just commented, your, your video about um, manifesting money without the law of attraction was deceiving. You didn't, you didn't even talk about money. No, the entire video showed you how to manifest anything and that you don't have to track it. You already have it. We're always looking for something else. The answer, give me the money, give me this, give me that. That's not what you came here for. It isn't. Can you be okay with where you are? Can you use it to be something incredible? Can you not go get the next thing to fix it and say, I'm going to fix this? In fact, you don't even have to really fix anything. You just have to connect to what is already existing for you. Being at peace. Be at peace with where you are. Be at peace with learning. Be at peace with transitioning to something and letting go of the old and receiving the new and 
knowing that it's not going to feel comfortable and being okay with that. We're never okay with being uncomfortable. We want everything to be so... Are you looking at that moment as something really important, incredible? If not, quit looking for everybody to fix your problems. You're creating everything. How you feel about things and thus manifesting those things because you're shifting into that reality. Not attracting it. You're shifting into it. This is a tough job. This is the most difficult thing to do is to be okay in these times when it's just not the fun stuff. It's not always the fun stuff, but it's the important stuff. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. That's from the master key system. It healed somebody, and it's healed many other people. You can be healed now. Miracles can happen at any moment. Allow them in. Namaste.